Romance and Group Travel Expert, and today we are going to be talking about one of the top destination spots to vacation in Mexico, and this is the Riviera Maya. Now, the Riviera Maya is the location just south of Cancun that stretches right along that Caribbean coast of Mexico. So you're not going to be right in the action of Mexico. This is a little bit more relaxed, um, luxurious, if you will. Um, a little bit more of your beautiful beaches lie in the Riviera Maya. Um, so th this is um, just below Cancun, and it's also very safe. Um, if you look at the map of Mexico to see where the warnings are for when you're visiting, because I know people are concerned about that. Um, this is one, This is far away from the uh, very first or closest warning, if you will. Um, so the Riviera Maya, Mexico, this is one of the most popular um, honeymoon spots right now. And as far as we are concerned at Custom Memories Travel, we're sending lots of people there because it is very budget friendly um, to go to Mexico. And like I said before, it's one of the most beautiful places in Mexico to visit. So um, the Riviera Maya now is the second most popular place in Mexico to visit and Cancun is the first. But I think you're going to be seeing a, a trend of it just keep uh, to just keep rising and um, most likely, in my opinion, it should be right at the top of the list. So, uh, <laughs> Playa del Carmen, now that's the biggest city in Riviera Maya. And that is where you're going to find your shopping centers, your fine dining, your entertainment, restaurants, things like that. That, um, you know, if you venture off your resort and you want to go see some of the more touristy areas, you're going to head to Playa del Carmen. And some of the hotels and resorts there will offer free shuttle service to that destination for you to explore. So that's kind of cool. Um, so if you're in uh, Riviera Maya, don't forget to stop there at least for, you know, a few hours and see what's uh, going on down in Playa del Carmen. Um, Riviera Maya is also one of the most beautiful places to scuba dive and snorkel. Um, it has the largest coral reef in the northern hemisphere. Um, so you're going to see tropical fish, uh, manta rays, uh, dolphins, which are really cool. You can swim with the dolphins there as well. Um, whale sharks. So there's going to be so much um, habitat there for you to see that you can't see um, and lots of the other islands in the Caribbean. Another neat thing about Riviera Maya is it has a lot of cenotes and what these are, are these natural sinkholes that have formed um, because the limestone there has collapsed and so they're filled with water in these reefs and it just kind of exposes, it's because it's exposed the um, ground underneath and the water underneath so it's kind of split open and you can actually take excursions to swim in these cenotes and go snorkeling um, and just see, as, like I said, these are filled with those tropical fish um, and, you know, all the coral reefs for you to explore. So it's just beautiful. So cenotes are really um, unique to Mexico and the Riviera Maya is where you're going to see a lot of them. And it's also, um, the Riviera Maya is very unique in its culture. If you're into history or, you know, just the, the culture of the Mayans, um, Places like Chichen Itza, that's where you're going to see the most uh, famous ruin that you probably recognize, but maybe you never knew what it was called. Uh, Chichen Itza was the um, center, if you will, of the political um, and econ economical uh, history of the Mayans um, when they were in Mexico. So Mexico is filled with a lot of different things to experience. Um, and I want to run down some of the top activities that you can do as well. Um, some people don't know that you can zip line through the jungle there. You can explore the caverns and caves. Um, they also have underwater caves, or I'm sorry, underwater or underground rivers in the caves that you can sometimes raft through or you can swim through. Um, they have mangroves and some of the most beautiful beaches, like I, Mex like I mentioned before, are in Mexico. Um, and because sometimes Mexico gets a bad rap, we tend to forget that. But there are some beautiful beaches, especially along that area that's on the Caribbean coast of Mexico. Um, so there's lots of soft and extreme adventure. There's um, ATV tours, also swimming with the dolphins, like I mentioned before. Horseback riding, you can horseback ride through those beautiful blue waters. Like, how cool would that be? I would love to do that. Um, again, snorkeling, diving. And there's also something really cool called a sky cycle, where you can pedal along this wire up, um, from tree to tree. So <laughs> some people are a little leery, but totally cool if you're into lots of adventure. So Riviera Maya, one of the top places to visit um, in Mexico and in the Caribbean area. Um, one of the most popular places we're sending people to um, budget wise. Um, so don't be scared of what you're hearing on the news. Yes, it's going to have some crime as far as any tourist area would, you know, pickpockets, things like that. But in general, you're away from the drug cartels, things like that. That's more near the borders of the U.S. and, and Mexico. So if, take a chance on Riviera Maya. If you're thinking about going someplace, 
on a little bit tighter budget, um, keep that in mind. And if you have any other questions, give me a buzz um, or find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Aaron Cook Travel Agent. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks and have a great day.